Chicago a judge declined to ease bond conditions Thursday and release a Chicago woman who is charged with conspiracy in the 2014 death of her wealthy mother during a luxury vacation in Bali. The decision means Heather Mark, 27, will remain in custody without bond while awaiting a July trial in federal court in Chicago. Mac was arrested in Chicago in November 2021 after serving more than seven years in an Indonesian prison for her role in the killing. The body of her socialite mother, Sheila Donwies Mac, was stuffed in a suitcase and left in a taxi outside a hotel on the island of Bali. Although Mac was convicted in Indonesia, Udonis, prosecutors filed their own case, accusing her of conspiring with her then boyfriend, Tommy Schieffer, before they traveled to the islands in 2014. Defense attorney Michael Leonard said Mac has behaved well while in custody and would not pose a Flight risk or a threat to the public if granted bond. He cited her loving relationship with her. Of her? Seven year old daughter. Wiz Mac in 2015.Udonis. District Judge Matthew Kinley declined to release Mac. There are plenty of reasons to believe she would pose a danger to others. Had a fraud. Often violent relationship with her mother. Police responded dozens of times to the <laughs> family's home in Oak Park. Illinois.Von Wies Mac's siblings testified that, that they feared for their safety if Mac were to be released dot through tears. Von Wies Mac's younger sister Debbie Curran said she had been a second mother to Mac all her life, but called her niece a master manipulator. Mac, who had appeared impassive throughout the hearing, wiped away tears as Curran spoke. Mac's child is in the custody of Curran's daughter. Doc defense attorney Leonard said he and Mac were Disappointed that she was denied bail but understood the judge's decision due to the serious allegations against her. In 2017, Robert Biggs was sentenced to nine years in a Udonis prison for advising Mac and Schieffer about how to kill Mac's mother. Von Wies Mac, who was the widow of jazz classical composer James L. Mac. Schieffer still is in prison in Indonesia, serving a longer sentence than Mac.